Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced Oski Nurse Trainer for the NMC Oski Exam in UK and also the Lead Trainer for Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm back with another video for you for your adult NMC Oski Exam. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. So in today's video, what we're going to look at is much awaited video. It is, I've already done one on you. So this time I'm going to cover the Glasgow Comma Scale, which is your GCS chart. So I'm going to show you how to plot on a GCS chart accurately so you can uh, uh, do this uh, uh, correctly in your exam and do not make this mistake of uh, completing it incorrectly because this is the biggest fail. Charting is the biggest fail in your assessment station. So I already shown you the news charting a couple of weeks ago. So now in today's video we are going to cover how to complete the GCS chart for a neurological assessment in your adult NMC OSCE exam correctly and screen by screen. We will split 10 segments and we will look at every segment and how to uh, plot a, within that GCS chart. So that's what we will do today. So we will uh, bring a chart up on the screen and we're going to complete a segment, segment by segment. Okay, so uh, just just as a quick refresher so what is the GCS chart which is your neurological chart if you are given uh, in your assessment station now this need to be completed as part of your assessment station for neurological scenario only which is normally your uh, scenario um, as a, for a neurological uh, admission, okay, uh, subdural hematoma or something similar, uh, so, uh, which can come in your exam as a neuro patient. So that's the only time you complete a neurological observation chart. Every other time you will be given news chart to complete. If your patient is otherwise admitted to a medical surgical ward or a community patient, you'll be completing news chart. So this is only for the neurological patient that you will be completing the uh, Glasgow comma scale, which is a neurological chart. Okay, uh, need to be completed in green pen provided by the test center. Uh, correct completion is critical for passing this station like i said the main fail in this assessment station is always charting so make sure you can master this okay so and learn it and master it and practice it right okay so what does our neurological uh, observation chart looks like okay so that's on the next screen where do we plot different uh, parameters so we can see here uh, gcs which is your glasgow comma scale is right on the top of the chart and then you got temperature which is plotted next and then you have got blood pressure uh, and uh, pulse so there is an area for plotting blood pressure and pulse and then you got uh, next is a box for putting your respirations in and next is a box for putting your saturations in and then you got next thing is the there is a area on the chart where you write the pupil size and reaction to light both for the left eye and the right eye okay and then you got your uh, limb movements okay so you chart your limb movements on the chart in that part and then you write the total glasgow comma scale right at the bottom and then the last box is about initial so you add your initials who completed the chart and obviously top of the chart will be your patient details okay so you need to add those so that is where every parameter goes on your chart just a quick look at the chart how is completed now we're going to complete a segment by segment how to plot every parameter on that chart so the first one is uh, as you can see on the next screen you need to clearly write your patient name hospital number date and date of birth and date will be your exam date patient name and hospital number from the uh, obviously they have given you patient history form uh, candidate briefing form and uh, you will be writing a your patient details are in that document so write it from there copy everything clearly on the top of the chart next screen now time so you always plot on in the first column on the left so always start 
same as news as in GCS, first column on the left. So the first column on the left is asking you to write the time. So time is whatever is given in your scenario, whatever is given on that candidate briefing form in assessment station, your document, just copy it from there. For this patient is like four o'clock. So we just add four o'clock in that box as in digital clock, not AM and PM. Copy exactly how it is on your form. Next we're going to do is, um, next screen will be about plotting the glasgow comma scale okay so plotting the glasgow comma scale is not with number it is with a dot it's a mistake when people start plotting it with a number numbers are already there you need to plot in front of the correct number so uh, in glasgow comma scale first thing is the eye opening so if your patient eye opening is spontaneous which will be the case in your exam uh, i don't i can't see any other way so your patient eye opening will be spontaneous so you're going to plot uh, the dot in the spontaneous eye opening uh, box okay so plot it there with a dot next we're going to do the best verbal response so best verbal response is checking for your patient for confusion so you will check if your patient is alert then put a, a dot in box which is uh, for alert and then if they're confused which might be the case for neurological scenario you will check you will ask appropriate questions you will work out whether your patient is confused and then you will add, if your patient is confused you will add a dot in the confusion box you don't need to go anything more than that for the best verbal response now we're going to do the best motor response plotting so this is about whether your patient can obey commands or not so you will ask your patient to do something for you and if they can obey your command so you will plot a dot into obey command box i can't see anything different in your exam so uh, normally your patient is able to obey your command but you need to check that with the patient in the right way by asking them to do something and then you put a dot in there so that's how you plot for the glasgow comma scale okay uh, by asking appropriate question by working out uh, uh, whether your patient can obey commands put the dot in so dot for the spontaneous eye opening dot for whether your patient is alert or confused put the dot in appropriate box and the third thing is uh, obeying commands if your patient can obey command which will be the case put a dot in there so that's the glasgow comma scale done okay on the next screen we are going to now plot temperature so temperature is plotted with a cross sign okay as you can see on the screen i have plotted highlighted it for you so that's how you need to plot the patient temperature in the correct box uh, next screen now blood pressure and pulse so they are plotted in the same area so you play, plot the blood pressure exactly the same like you do on your news chart with the arrow up for systolic arrow down for diastolic and join it with a, a dotted line or with a solid line both are fine okay so plot that and then heart rate just plot clearly with a dot in the correct box now it might come very near to your blood pressure arrow but that's fine just keep it slightly separate and plot with a very clear dot as you can see i have done mine is really in the box with the arrow but yeah plot is just slightly separately with a clear dot so that's your heart rate and blood pressure done Okay, so next we are going to move on to the next screen now. So, which is uh, for plotting respiration. So, respirations are plotted as a number in your neurological observation chart. So, add the correct number in the box like I, like I have done, which I've highlighted 18. Okay, so next uh, we are going to plot the saturations. So again, saturations are plotted as a number. So just plot the saturation as a number, as you can see on your next screen, which is I plotted as 97%. So just plot it as actual number in percentage for saturations, okay? Next now, we are going to look at the pupil size and reaction to light so that's the next thing to plot on your chart so you will be checking your patient pupil size accurately both for the uh, right eye and the left eye and then first you're going to plot the size so you work out what is the size of patient pupil and you add that into the size box like i have added uh, four for the right eye and four for the left eye as you can see and the next you will be checking reaction to light by um, um, 
uh, uh, using your pen torch and shining some light in patient eyes uh, so you will be checking the reaction to light so if your patient people are reactive to light your chart is telling you to plot it with a plus sign so if you look at a kind of highlighted on your chart they asking you plot it with a plus sign so if the pupils are reactive to light you will put the uh, plus sign for the right eye and plus sign for the left eye and that's how you plot the pupil size and reaction to light on your chart okay next we are going to write uh, limb assessments now so I am not showing to how to do the neurological observation I'm just showing you how to plot correctly on the chart okay uh, so next I'm going to show you the limb movements now how to plot limb movements correctly so you will work out your patient limb assessments both for arms and legs so there is a section for arms and section for legs you can see so once you check your patient limb movement it means you check the strength in the limbs you check for arms first and um, and then you check for legs so now you know what is the strength in the arm what is in the legs with this patient here for example when i check the limb strength in the arm the left arm uh, was normal power but the right arm had a little uh, weakness okay so patient did not match my resistance so the right arm was a little weakness so left was normal right was a little weakness and on the chart you can see on the right i've highlighted that they want if the limb strength is different then you need to uh, Put letters L and R. L for the left arm uh, and left R for the right. So as you can see, because my patient had normal power in the left arm, so I put L in the normal power box and I put R in the mild weakness box because that's what my chart is asking me to do to split it with L and R if my limb strength is different. Okay, uh, on both limbs. So that's how you plot it. So this chart reads that that the left arm is normal power right arm is mild weakness now when i checked my patient legs uh, both legs had the normal power they were same and both legs were normal power uh, so if the if the power is same in both limbs whether it's normal whether it's mild weakness or severe weakness whatever it is if it's same you can plot with a dot in the box so when you put a dot in the box you're saying both left and right leg are both normal powers because i plotted them in the normal power box because they were normal power so you can see when you plot with a dot you're saying both limbs are the same power when you need to split it, you split with lnr i hope that is clear to you so that's how you chart your limb assessment if they are different split a, the limb by l for left r for right but if they are same just plot the dot in the appropriate box like i have done for legs because patient legs were both normal power but patient arms were different power and up split today with lnr so that's that and then if we now look at so we done the limb uh, strength uh, and uh, with the uh, um, limb, uh, uh, limb movements next screen is now total GCS score so we're going to count over GCS score from in the Glasgow comma scale which is on the top so for this patient uh, they scored 14 for Glasgow comma scale so I put my GCS score in there and then the last box is initials so that's where you add your initials so that's how you complete the neurological observation chart in your exam so now on the next screen i'm showing you the completed example of the whole chart i have done from top to bottom going from patient details down to my initials so that's how you need to plot correctly on the neurological observation chart so i hope you like this video and i hope it makes a little bit more clearer for you how to chart on the neurological observation chart quickly like i said uh, the purpose of this video wasn't to how to show you to do neurological observation is to how to chart them correctly so top tips uh, are just stay within the boxes and do it clearly and use dots for glasgow comma scale not the numbers uh, so do it clearly and legibly that's the first tip second tip is uh, just make sure you know your chart and where you're charting everything on that chart so practice with the chart so you know exactly where every parameter is charted um, and number three is don't confuse yourself with the limb assessment if they are different then chart with lnr if they are same in both limbs the power is the same chart with a dot 
So if you like this video, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. You can also visit us on oskinastraining.com and also email us for further information on oskinastraining at outlook.com. I will soon be back with another video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.